Today we're going to take a look at how to use fuzzy logic matching in Power BI. All right, the same feature exists in Excel, the exact same feature, and both Power BI and Excel have Power Query built in by default, starting from 2019 in Excel, and Power Query is native to Power BI. From since since from ever since back in 2015 go forward. So we're gonna look at an example of how to use it to match data, the typical type of matching that we are accustomed to for the folks who come from an Excel background is exact matching. And usually in Excel we use the VLOOKUP formula to accomplish that, or we would use index and match or some people use the newer XLOOKUP function with the built-in if error. With um, that, it's not possible to do matching where there are slight variations in characters in one list as opposed to the other list. So the question is, how do we um, find the matches where we have slight variations in the matching IDs? So let's see how we do that. We're going to connect to the data source. I've already launched Power BI Desktop. We're going to click on Import from Excel. And we're going to go to that folder which has the files. So we're going to go to the Fuzzy Logic Match folder here. We're going to choose this file here called Portfolio Example. Click Open. I'll share the file with the video on the blog section from my website. So you're going to see the navigator menu and the Excel file has a number of objects. We're interested in two objects. This one here called Portfolio 1. So the example here, we own our, um, shares in some blue chip companies and we have a number of stock investments here. These are the shares we invested in, and these are the number of shares we hold, right? So we want to value the shares periodically to see what they would. And so we've downloaded this list here called the SP500 um, list of shares, the top 500 shares, right? And we have the pricing information here for each share. And there's the company name here and the price information here. So you're going to take that up. We're going to click Transform Data. So we now have two queries, one called Portfolio 1, the other one called SP500 Data. So Portfolio 1, we're going to rename it to Portfolio Valuation. Our report. The problem here is if we look at it, this first entry here, Amazon com Inc. stock, if we want to fetch the price from this list using the company name, it will you'd have to search this list for company name. But if we look here, the name is slightly different. So here the name is Amazon.com Inc. as opposed to what we have here. The thing is with Power Query in Power BI and also Power Query in Excel, it could actually find a match and return the correct pricing information. So let's just see how, how the matching would work with a default merge query, which is an exact match akin to what we know as a VLOOKUP or index and match formula or XLOOKUP. So once we highlight the column we're interested in for the matching here, all right, we could see that here. We could just go to the home menu and you would see merge queries. We're going to click that button and we want to match to the SP500 list. The common field is company here and company here. So we have the two common fields here that we want to use as the matching IDs. By default, Power BI and also Excel with Power Query would do a left outer join. 
And that is exactly, almost exactly the same as what we know as a VLOOKUP. Notice there that it's not finding any matches. So basically, it's looking for the items here, searching for it in the other list, and basically nothing matches on an exact basis. When we have situations like this, um, the there could be different problems causing it, but usually what it would mean is that we would need to employ fuzzy matching techniques. So we could tick here and have it use fuzzy matching to perform the merge. If we do that, notice below it's now finding four out of nine of the records. So if you click OK here, it will incorporate the SP500 list with the matching fields to this table here non-matching ones and if we click the double headed arrow here it's going to open that out and we could choose which columns we want um, to compare so we want to get the data from so company name and we want to get the price i want to keep the original column name as prefix which is sp500 data so if we click ok we'll see it was able to find a match for amazon for at and t right Berkshire Hathaway was a match for Berkshire Hathaway and Microsoft Corporation. The problem with this is that we really need to get the prices for all. So in order to facilitate that, we need to drop the recognition threshold with the fuzzy logic match. Right now, the default fuzzy logic match looks at 80% of the characters in the first list, right, in this list and finds a match it from the other list so we want to drop the threshold to about 60 percent before we do that i'm going to put in an index column and the reason for putting in an index column is that with fuzzy logic matching you could have multiple items which could compare to the item in our list so amazon.com might have like two or three different items on this side which have us which have a price right so you're going to get multiple entries returned for the same item in the list so the index number will help us attract that so i'm just going to highlight the change type step here go back two steps and we're going to go to the um, add column menu and we're going to include an index column click the drop arrow power query by default will start counting from zero we wanted to count from one we're going to insert that step here and click OK. So now we have the numbers records, we rec, um, numbers, the records tag by the numbers here, the index number. We're going to go to merge queries and we're going to change the query basis by clicking on the gear wheel. The process would be just about identical in um, Excel, Power Query for Excel. What we will do is change the fuzzy matching options the similarity threshold here the default is 0.8 if you read the instructions we want to change that to 0 0.6 and we're going to click ok so if you look now we go to the expanded sp500 data we see here that we have basically a match for everything for the nine records but now we have 12 rows, but we have nine items listed which match, but some of them match multiple. So for example, here for Motorola Corporation, it found two matches, Motorola Solutions Inc., Motorola Mobility. ATT Corp, it found two close matches, and similarly for Coca-Cola. What we need to do is filter out the ones that we're not interested in. So putting the index number would easily identify like duplications where they have multiple matches. Click in here, we will be able to filter the records to the ones you want. So maybe you're not interested in Coca-Cola Enterprises, no ITT Corp, no Motorola um, solutions. All right, so these would be the ones that we're interested in for the pricing information. If we click OK, we have the current prices here for the nine um, stocks that we have in our investment portfolio. The next step would be, I would probably remove this column. We don't need it anymore. 
and then I would rename this column price, right? To get this column, we don't need any more either. So we could remove that, right click on the column header and say remove. And then we need to get the valuation, which is the number of shares you hold by the price, right? So just select those two columns using control and click at the header level, right click on any header, and we're going to say product. So product is just multiply, and then we're going. To, this would be the share valuation. So now that we have the matches, we want a, a basic report. Just go to the home menu and say close and apply. So we're going to move out of the Power Query Editor menu into the Power BI Desktop. And you will see on the right here, you will see a table showing up with SP500 data. You want to create a chart. Um, so the default, if we actually go to portfolio valuation report, the default is to show the share valuation um, as a column chart. Well, there's only one column and then we need to break it out by company. All right, so you have in ranked order what the um, what the share valuation is, and then we could format it from here for whatever we wish. Maybe we prefer a donut chart that might give a better rendering of the um, of our portfolio holdings here. All right, so guys, that's how we actually uh, create a fuzzy logic match. People use it different ways. Some people use it. I've used it for data cl data cleanup exercises checking data from one list to another list um and see like if you have data in one database versus the other database in a table see where we have variations in the maybe the addresses right or we have variations in the names we could identify all the mismatches using this technique another way people use it I was teaching a class recently and they were looking at audit and fraud analytics is if you're doing fraud analytics, you might want to compare the employee's address from the HRIS database to the vendor database addresses to see if you have any close matches. It, it, it could be the employee selling services to the firm indirectly through some some entity that it registered but it's using the same employee address so there are a number of uses for this i hope you found this to be beneficial